How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. So today's video we're going to be dedicating to Scarlet. Somebody that I haven't dedicated a video to in a long time. Not because I don't like her, but lately she's become really popular I feel like because people are like, I don't know, just now realizing that she's really good or something. I feel like a lot of Legends in Brawlhalla go through this, I don't know, uh, cycle of popularity where they're not popular, then they are popular, then they're not, then they are, depending on who's playing them and I don't know. It just depends, I guess, but we're going to dedicate the video to Scarlet nonetheless, and uh, I'm not too, too good with Scarlet. I'm not too, too bad either. I, I feel like I'm pretty decent. Um, good, good enough to compete, definitely, but not really good enough to be like a pro Scarlet player or anything like that. But we're going to have fun nonetheless. Two powerhouses going at it, Scarlet and Taros. Let's see. Who has the most power? Scarlet is, uh... Alright, alright, Angel. He's really good. What? I side sag and it still got destroyed. All right, so he's taken our first stock and he is really excited. So what we need to do now is make him play to our speed. Because right now he's too comfortable playing at his speed. See what I mean? You gotta make him play at your own speed. If you're always at their speed, you're gonna get destroyed. Yeah, Taros, what's up? Oh, baby, you got destroyed there, too. Now he's panicking a little bit. Oh, my gosh, he actually hit me twice there. I thought I would be able to dodge the second one. All right, final stocks. He thinks I really need the weapon, but I don't. Okay. I'll take it, though. Bye-bye, Taros. There's only one stage, and there's only one king of the stage. GG, dude, GG. Moving right along, let's uh, let's do the Steam Sentry Scarlet. And by the way, the Steam Smith Scarlet is my favorite Scarlet skin. I just think it's cute. I love that she's got grease all over and she's got like the little speck on her nose. It's cute. All right, going on to Steam Sentry Scarlet. I do have black colors with Scarlet. I don't use them too often because, as I say often, I actually really like the OG Mountain Dew colors with like pretty much every skin, but. We'll go ahead and use black colors just to uh, see if we can strike some fear into the hearts of our opponents. All right, going against another Taros, but I think it's a different person. I love that he's using the uh, Day of the Dead Azoth guitar axe. That's actually one of the very few skins that I don't own, I think. Oh, baby, that move hits so easily. You could just spam it and win. Oh, 
Oh man. This is actually fine. I got him all the way to orange on his second stock before I died. So. Nice. Very nice ground pound, dude. He calculated that so that he released right when it was gonna knock me back. Very good kill. That should do it. All right, final stocks again, baby. You can't survive too many of those hits. Of course, neither can I. Oh my goodness, that axe recovery. So insane. GG, dude, GG. G a G. You don't play like a gold, so I'm, I'm curious why you use the gold avatar. He plays like a diamond. Or maybe he puts the gold avatar because I know a lot of diamonds, when they queue up against somebody, the person just instantly rage quits. And uh, just by seeing that they're fighting a diamond, which. <laughs> you know, fair enough, fair enough. I think we've all done that, but these colors actually go really good with this witch skin. But on the other hand, um, if you're the diamond, it's like frustrating because you just want to play the game and like people don't even want to play with you just because they think that they're going to lose. That's that's kind of annoying, but you know, at the same time, I understand why people do it. All right, going against Echo, he's got the Sobek Ragnar. I love the Sobek Ragnar. The Egyptian theme is so cool, man. Assassin's Creed Origins, such a cool game, takes place in ancient Egypt. Not even ancient, just like a couple, few thousand years ago. Come on, Ragnar. You know you want some of this witch's brew. <laughs> Ooh, that axe down there got me. I got him pretty good into orange though, so we're doing all right. Echo. I feel like I just fought Echo. Woo. Man, I hit him into that corner, that diagonal corner of the bottom left stage. That was nice. GG dude, GG. Hanging out a little bit too much there off the edge. Love the Ragnar skin though. Alright, uh, let's do a, go ahead and do Airship Scarlet. This is one of my favorites as well. Uh, we're gonna go... Let's go home team colors on the Airship Scarlet. I think it matches the skin really well. Oh, I love this hammer too. Ooh, 
going against Demo Stark. Baraza. I think he's using the OG Mountain Dew colors, Baraza, and I, I gotta say, you're cool just for picking Baraza. A lot of people don't ever play Baraza, and I don't know why. He's actually insanely good. Alright, see what I mean? Yeah! Yeah, buddy! How are you still alive? There you go. Amazing how many attacks hit so easily with Scarlet, I feel like. Her move priority is great. Uh-oh. Hold my lance! Ah! Oh. That was a family heirloom lance. You could have at least saved it. Oh, baby! That was right in the face! Bye bye, dude. GG. Player two GG, dude. GG, as always. Alright, moving along. We're gonna do one more Scarlet game, and it's gonna be the Mad Genius Scarlet. This is the very first skin that they came out with that was considered an epic skin because it has the animated hammer, the circuit breaker, and the animated spark of madness lance. What's cool about the epic skins is they have the animated weapons, but you can also use them on other legends that have the same weapons. So I could use this hammer on any hammer legend or the lance on any lance legend and kind of make those legends more epic as well. Hey, another person who purchased collector's edition. That's how you know what they have collectors if they have that red border above their uh, border, character border there. That means they purchase collectors. Dang, that hammer ground pound is heavy. Ugh, nice throw. I should have dodged there, and then I would have had to use my recovery.
when uh, fighting gauntlets with Lance, Lan Gauntlet really like to uh, approach with side light, which is like just a half a jump up when it comes out. And so if you're always like doing your side air just half a jump up, you're probably gonna hit him eventually, which I did. Oh, wow! I can't believe he actually got me with that. Calculated, bro. GG, dude, GG. He tried to fast fall there a little bit, so I threw the lance down and diagonal. GG, dude. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Scarlet video. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. And as always, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Let me go, go ahead and let me know in the comments uh, which legend you would like me to do next. And as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.